Hi there, my name is Caroline Mutoko. I'm at the dentist. I'm at Royal Smiles at Garden City, and I'm actually in the dental surgery with Dr. Kidula. Allow me to uh, say who you are. You are the spouse bringer, the romance giver, the smile whisperer, because sometimes, <laughs> Dr. Shari, yes, and please. especially for our generation, mine, People over the age of 30 figured my parents didn't have the money to fix my smile and it's time for me to do something. And also, we are so exposed because of social media, we're like, how come she looks like that? How come they look like that? How come? And then we realize Dr. Kidula can do those things for me because you do the aesthetic smiles. But let me ask you, let's start with teeth whitening. I see everybody doing it. Can you please give me the do's and don'ts and why you must go to your dentist? Welcome. We want to take you through this journey of giving you beautiful smiles. I'm not just a dentist, uh -huh. I'm also an orthodontist. Okay. And I'm also an implantologist in this area of dentistry. We're talking about whitening mm -hmm. and it's now a very common trend it in is. our market. Mm -hmm. But the do's and don'ts of whitening is it's important that you see your doctor first. Mm -hmm because you need, before you commence whitening, mm -hmm. you need to make sure there are no cavities yes, in your mouth. Yes. Because whitening, the basic product that does whitening, mm -hmm. uh, decomposes itself into hydrogen peroxide. Okay. It is the peroxide that causes the whitening of teeth. Uh -huh. So first of all, we have to look at you and mm -hmm. examine you mm -hmm. and, it, and dis discover whether you are the good A candidate, candidate for whitening. Why the, should I not have you shouldn't have cavities because hydrogen peroxide acting on cavities will cause sensitivity. And when you have sensitivity due to whitening, which oh. is also called bleaching, mm -hmm. it can be extreme and that can lead to palpal death, which oh. will lead to other problems in dentistry where you are forced to do root canals oh, and yes. crowns. Whoa. So you need to be the correct candidate for whitening. You could actually do it backwards and end up creating more problems more and costing yourself more money. You will cause yourself more problems from a very simple whitening procedure to a very expensive procedure where you may end up even losing a tooth or, oh. or teeth. Whoa. And replacing them becomes a big problem. Okay. So for us to be able to understand whether you are a good candidate for whitening, mm -hmm. you come in, we do a checkup mm -hmm. and discover whether the stains that you have on your teeth mm -hmm. are just extrinsic. Extrinsic means they are just on the surface of mm -hmm. the teeth mm -hmm. and we will be able to clean them off uh -huh. using an ultrasonic scaler. Yes. This will clean them and you may not need whitening. Ah, but indeed you need... This is it. true. Yes. Mm -hmm. And in, if you need whitening, yeah. then we will have several options of whitening. Okay. There is home kit whitening mm -hmm. where we advise you on how to do it, mm -hmm. how many hours mm -hmm. you need to do it and expose your teeth. Okay. Because whitening causes dehydration of teeth. So you don't want also to overdo it mm -hmm. and kill the pulp of the teeth, the life of the tooth. Whoa. There is also in-office bleaching uh -huh. where we either use the LED light mm -hmm. or the lesser light mm -hmm. to give you the bright smile. Okay. And there are some candidates who may not qualify for whitening. Mm -hmm. So we end up doing what we call veneers. Yes. Veneers are outside coating mm -hmm. of your teeth. All right. This can either be composite veneers mm -hmm. or porcelain veneers. Yes. If it's composite veneers, it's a day procedure. You walk in mm -hmm. and walk out. Yes. If it's, co if it's porcelain veneers, mm -hmm. we prefer doing them for at least between three to four days, mm -hmm. two appointments, mm -hmm. where we are able to involve our lab mm -hmm. to give you the perfect smiles you need. Yes. And, and the teeth size and everything. And the teeth size and everything. Uh -huh. Because some teeth may not be correct in length. Mm -hmm or in width, yes. so you may need some teeth recontouring to mm -hmm. give you the perfect smile yes. for your next job uh -huh. or for your next spouse. He's I do not know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So if this does not work, if the teeth are broken down, uh -huh. then we are forced to do crowns. Oh. Yes, crowns are made of mainly porcelain or zirconia and they give you the smile you want. There are people who come in who want white, white teeth. Yes. We the, advise the, them. The, the, holiday, the Hollywood smile. Yes, called. the Hollywood smile. Uh -huh. We advise you uh -huh. and we are able to give you the Hollywood smile. Wee -wee. You know, when I called you the smile whisperer, I didn't even think. So here's the thing I realized. There's a difference between veneers 
and then your your porcelain, you know, um, what did you call them? The porcelain veneers, the veneers. or the composite Com veneers. Yes. yes. And then crowns. And then there are crowns you also know, that can be done. As lay people, we use those terms interchangeably. Yes. We do. <laughs> and that is why we want to educate you and tell you sometimes you may not even need veneers. Yes. There are other procedures called microabrasion. Mm -hmm. Microabrasion means that the stains are not so deep. Yes. We abrade them gently. Yes. Professionally. Yes. And you still get the smile you're that looking, you're looking for. for. And as we are talking wow. about aesthetics, uh -huh. you may end up losing a tooth mm -hmm. and we are able to replace that with this implants. This is true. This is true. Yes. So implants, and, and actually, let's let's get beyond. The reason I was very excited to speak to you is because I know that for a lot of people, and I always say this even to my own children, I didn't, my parents were not rich. We didn't do, I don't know, braces. What were those? We grew up the way we, Kwanza, where, where did you grow up? I grew up in Western Kenya. Yeah, braces uh, meaning you go. Uh, I didn't know about braces Thank until you. I went I went to campus. Yes. I went to study something I did not really know. You did not know. So I'm very aware that for a lot of us, we grew up in circumstances where really, and so long as our teeth were healthy, our gums were healthy, and we brushed and we did what we needed to do, we were fine. And then we've got into a place in our lives as we actualize, and I say people actualize slowly. You actualize in the way you live, how you are, your own personal appearance. And you realize, I've got to fix this. Because it doesn't matter, you know, the girl is a 10, for example, you know, she's got a great body, great skin, good hair, but when she smiles, mmm, mmm. So I knew that we needed to have a conversation about the right way to get the smile you want for where you are in life. Maybe it's a lady who's getting married in six months, or there's a gentleman who wants to look really good in his wedding pictures, or he's finally become, you know, a board member, a CEO, he's having more public appearances, but the smile is a problem. You know, yes, yeah, so for me, just the aesthetic side. And then now you're talking about the fact that I could have been in a car accident. I could have fallen. I could have been in an incident and I've lost a tooth. And then you're now talking about implants. We're talking about implants because this is a very good replacement. Uh -huh. You do not have to interfere with the neighboring teeth. Uh -huh. We're just putting a, a tooth analog into your bone. Mm -hmm. And this is where we will eventually put the crown yes. to replace your missing tooth. Yes. The implant acts as the root yes. that you've already lost. Actually, it is a short procedure. It's a short procedure. It takes only yes. 15 minutes yes. at our clinic. Uh, it is almost painless. Oh my goodness. You do yes. not need to be scared. Yes. yes. And then after that, we talk about the different replacement options. Okay. Yes. I know that's a root canal. What are these little pink things here at the bottom? What's going on there? What's going on? These little things is if you do not visit a dentist mm -hmm. and you have a cavity for a long time, mm -hmm. you end up developing an infection in bone. Oh. The pink things you're seeing there mm -hmm. is an infection in bone. Oh, wow. So it's essential that you visit us. Uh -huh. We will take the necessary required but x-rays. But you call it not a cavity. I mean, every time you... Uh, so what, you... Uh, you'll be surprised in our, in, 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 in our setting. People uh -huh. ignore cavities. They come when they are really, really in, big, in bad shape. Uh -huh. So we are forced to go in and sometimes we are forced to do a root canal crown the tooth and even sometimes shorten the, to the, the root of the tooth oh. so that we can save it. So it oh. is important that you visit us every six months and our consultation is only for a whole year. It's annual. You don't pay every time you visit us. Oh! Yes. Oh, say that again. That's a very important thing. Your consultation... Yes. Our is, consultation is annual. Uh -huh. You visit us once, uh -huh. we give you a treatment plan, yes. we sit you down, yes. we talk to you about the cost yes. in terms of time yes. and in terms of money yes. and the duration. And the duration. And after that, we you can visit you. us anytime yes. during that year, yes. during that calendar yeah. year. Mm -hmm. If you came in October 2024, mm -hmm. it's still October 2025. Yes. You can still visit us. Yes. We will talk to you. Yes. We can change if need be. Mm -hmm. And we walk with you through your dental health. Fantastic. You know what, Caroline? Mm -hmm. Kenya has been blessed mm -hmm. by great sceneries, mm -hmm. like the Great Rift Valley. All right. But with all this, mm -hmm. we have also the bad side of it. Which is? In the Rift Valley, mm -hmm. we have lots of fluorosis in the water. Well, fluorosis. I mean, fluoride. Real. Fluoride in the water. Fluoride in the water. Yes. It causes fluorosis mm -hmm. because the required amount of fluoride is mm -hmm. like 0 0.7 milligrams per liter. Mm -hmm. And many of us do not know. Mm -hmm. 
and because we are developing mm-hmm. and our parents are getting a little bit of money, mm-hmm. most of us are digging boreholes in Nairobi. Yes. Now, this borehole water, mm-hmm. if you do not know the fluoride content in that water, mm-hmm. you end up messing with your teeth. Mm-hmm. And it's not just your teeth that are messed up when you see them yellow. I hate it's bone as Even well. your bones yes. are messed up. Yes. So you need to have a fluoride filter if mm-hmm. you have a borehole mm-hmm. and make sure that you have taken the water to the government chemist to make sure that it is within the required limits for fluoride consumption. Well done. And it's not just for drinking water. Mm-hmm. Cooking Even water. cooking water. Yes. When you use water for cooking mm-hmm. and it contains fluoride, mm-hmm. you've just worsened the situation. Yes. The fluoride level mm-hmm. has just become worse because it's become more concentrated. I know. And it's this menace that we are trying to deal with. Yes. Because it is irreversible, but cool. we are able to yes. make you smile again. Yes. Without hiding. Yes. I your know the people who do yes. this. It comes. Mm-hmm. From the subconscious, yes. you walk to us, mm-hmm. and when you smile, you hide. Okay. It means there's something wrong. Something we wrong. need to sort it out. And the, and, the, and the smile maker is here at Royal Smiles at Garden City. Yep. And I need to say this, allow me to say this to the camera. If really you know the minute it, Dr. and I did this when it comes to smiling, you thought about yourself, come and see him. Let him fix your smile so that you can laugh, smile. You know, And actually, you know what it does? It takes a little bit away from you. Uh, and I've noticed women are very, very easy to do this. They don't mind. What men do is they look down. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Fix it. It can be done. It can be done it at be Royal done. Smiles Garden City. We are here every day of the week. Yes. We are able to adjust our program. Okay. Even on Sundays, we can be able to see you in the afternoon if need be. We? We are a phone call away. And the number is here. Come and see the smile maker, the romance giver. The spouse bringer, eh? The career builder, Dr. Kidula. Thank you so much.